It's sort of a sad thought in a way to think 10 years that on Saturday nights I'm dressing up in the costume and putting the claws on. <laughs> We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Maybe a quarter of it happened. And not like this. This is so super exciting. Thank you oh, for taking the time talking to me. It is my pleasure. Um, first, I would love to know, how do you feel about goodbyes? <laughs> In general, not great at goodbyes. I like them uh, to be quick. I sometimes will actually just avoid them. I'm the guy at the party who just walks out rather than say <laughs> goodbye to everybody. Um, and in this case, it took me 17 years to say goodbye, so I was ready for it, I'm, and I'm okay. But it was emotional last night watching the movie. Mm -hmm. I was sitting next to Patrick Stewart, James Mangold, the writer-director, both of whom I've worked with uh, 16, 17 years. So it was, it was a lot to take in. Logan, what did you do? Charles, the world is not the same as it was. Mutants. They're gone now. How would a good day for Logan look like? Let's say he <laughs> is retired, he doesn't have a care in the world. I think he's on a boat. I think he's <laughs> probably on a boat and there's a few, maybe a possibly one or two other people, but that's about it. And he's probably got a cigar and a beer and he's fishing <laughs> and it's easy. Like I think he wants just a simple, easy, uncomplicated life. Sounds like most men I know. <laughs> <laughs> You are not only a brilliant actor, you're also very talented as singer and dancer. How would you stage um, a musical performance number for The Wolverine? I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obviously not that talented. That, I, I cannot see that working in any way, shape or form. Uh, I'm not sure if I could see Wolverine himself going to a musical, let alone being in one. He'd just walk on, yeah, and just anyone start singing, he would start fighting them. <laughs> don't start. He'd be that guy. Don't, don't, don't sing. <laughs> This is what life looks like. People who love each other. A home. You should take a moment. Feel it. Have time. I imagine when you play a character for about 17 years and then you have to say goodbye, it still will stay with you. Of course. Do yeah. you feel like there will be moments in the future when you are going to let the Wolverine out? Uh, that's interesting. <laughs> um, maybe, yeah. It'd be, it's sort of a sad thought in a way to think 10 years that on Saturday nights I'm dressing up in the costume and putting the claws on. <laughs> But um, it doesn't leave you. It's like, it's not just a memory. It's something that you've helped to create. So it's part of who you are and always will be. So, uh, but it's been good therapy for me for the past 17 years. Could you even imagine your life um, or how it would look like if you wouldn't have gone into acting, if you would have gone a completely different way? Yeah, I'd probably be sitting where you are. I actually went to university and majored in journalism. So I'd probably be where you are and, and I would have enjoyed that. I actually, I, 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 even in acting, you notice I do lots of different things. So I, I do believe there's more than one path necessarily, but nothing has, certainly when I was studying to be a journalist and I compare it to when I was studying to be an actor, the passion was, way higher being an actor. I, I never missed a day. The other one felt a little bit like a chore. So if you were sitting in my mm. um, chair right now, who would you like to interview? Is there a person you would love to talk with? Oh, a lot, yeah, lots of people. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in philosophers and I'm interested in cutting edge sort of scientists and politicians. That's probably Not a lot of actors I would, I would, but you know, I, I work and live with them, so maybe that's just not as interesting to me. And is there an actor maybe um, also from the past mm. who would like to have a chat with you never had the chance to? Yeah, a lot. Uh, Cary Grant, uh, Gregory Peck, mm -hmm. um, Paul Schofield, a British actor. I'd love to talk with those guys. Nice. Thank you so much for the My interview. My pleasure.